Good afternoon and welcome to another SAP Business One session with Anytime. Today we're going to look at creating a user defined field and assign this to the item master data. To do this, you'll need to go to Tools, Customization Tools, User Defined Fields Management. Now, as item falls underneath what SAP call master data, you need to expand master data. We then need to expand items. We need to expand items again, and we can see what user defined fields are already created. And we're going to create a new user defined field. We're going to select add. We now need to come up with a title for our user defined field. And in this case, we're going to call this user defined field. That is going to be the title, and the description is going to be, and we're going to call that description as well, because we're actually going to add an extended description. So the length of 10 will not actually be good for us, so we're going to set it to 250. We're then going to select Add. Now this message is just warning us that the structure of the database is going to be changed. We do recommend you add user-defined fields when no one is logged in. So you select yes to that message, and you select ignore to here, and then you hit yes. And that field has now been added. If we go into the item master data, you can see that we now have an extra description field available. Now, we can also assign this to a different category. Okay. To do this, shift control B at the same time, and you can see there's our description. We can actually drop this down to find new, and what we'll actually call this new description here. We'll hit update, we'll hit OK, and as you can see, description has been assigned to description. We can hit OK, and now when we drop down the list and select description, the description only displays under the description category. Thank you very much for your time.